How much DPS a 6 star weapon adds compared to a 5 star one? Oh, big. You just need to check out the skills on the weapons. For now, Varus weapon is pretty good because it has such a dope skill with it. Increases lightning damage and you can do an immediate lightning fall after a signature move. And you get another stack of the charge. So there are so many useful effects in there. And the attack stat and everything is also higher, of course. Luna's weapon is also a necessity, right? The dark damage is also increased by 15% and the fourth spin of Annihilation Orb will produce additional 100% of ranged dark damage. So since those characters are meant to deal the highest damage on field, sooner or later you want to get them a proper weapon. But really only focus on your strongest characters to give them a weapon. Or where it's really a game changer to have the signature weapon. I think Rosetta's weapon is also something you want to have if you got a full physical team. Because it debuffs the enemy's defense even more. So the effects are what actually make a difference here. And for example, on the uniframes, this is why here the Waldmeister uh, Selena Tempest weapon is there. Um, I still need a weapon for my uniframes, at least for Selena. Because those weapons have the following effect. After a signature move is over, they sort the orbs into three pings. And if you don't have that, she's not usable in Guild Siege. <laughs> Always prefer the trial units because they have the signature weapons. Some 5 star weapons are as good as 6 stars. Yeah, I would say on healers you definitely can stick to uh, 5 star weapons and maybe resonate them for higher attack because the healing scales off of the attack, but not needed. Of course 5 star weapons is something you want to get at least if you if there's no 6 star weapon in sight, but is it really needed? Like if my Luna has a 6 star weapon, I'm okay with the, the rest of the budget dark team to have a 4 star weapon. Because I probably swap them out sooner or later. Why invest resources into something that's going to be trashed anyways. And Jelly Jack, how much black cards can free to play get a month? A month it's about 6,000 or almost 7,000 this month. So pretty much half of the pity you need, half of the amount of black cards you need. So in the end, should I skip an arrival banner to get, for example, Luna her weapon? Yeah, like I said, I would only focus on weapon when on a weapon whenever you get lucky on a banner. Let's say you get Nanami after 10 pulls. You could easily invest the in remaining 30 pulls into the weapon and get Nanami's weapon. Or do you need the weapon for Nanami, by the way? I think. I mean, need. For free-to-play players, they don't need anything. But characters. You always want characters. And it's important to know and and... Be aware of the fact that those weapons are always there. It's not like in other games where the weapons are only there for a specific period of time. So whenever you get lucky in the future, you can get the weapons you were always after.